In this video, I want to show you something that I'm doing on my Singer Model 237. That it's actually something um, that I've been trying to do for a long, long time. Um, I love spool knitting, and I wanted to make uh, braided rugs. And for many years, I've been looking for the right machine that has the correct clearance under the presser foot um, in order to sew them by machine. Uh, not so much for uh, the the um, the fact that it's faster, but more for the sturdiness of the rug. Now, this is just a test piece, um, and it would take practice as far as um, maybe guiding um, stitches to be more hidden. But this is a 1968 to 1972 Singer 237 and it has the zigzag stitch. I have the um, presser foot pressure on two, I have the tension on one, and I have the stitch length on six and I have it in center needle position with the widest zigzag stitch and these are like extra threads that because I pulled it out now I'm putting it back now it looks like it's pulling up a little bit but I don't think that would be permanent what I had to change um, I've had these machines for a long time and um, I thought they weren't going to have a high enough clearance it turns out they do but what I had to change was my knitting. What I did was make my own spool knitter that allowed me to knit strands that were much more loose than um, the commercial four pin corker. So these are bulky weight yarn um, knitted strands but what by knitting them extremely loose and I didn't use a lucid on them um, they're flatter and by them being flatter they're not this huge big thing that has to go under the presser foot so watch how this goes and it's not pinned and I'm just going in a circle as I do it Now even if I use this as a basting and then go back and hand stitch it, one of the most time consuming things with making rugs is the hand stitching. And um, I mean it can take hours to hand stitch uh, a small braid together. So like I said, this one looks sloppy, but this is doable. <laughs> Now the other thing that comes in here is I'm using uh, Lion Brand Fisherman Wool, which once I found out it's made in China, it's it's still my favorite wool, but I hate that it's made in China. And my dog is getting old and she needs a rug, and Fisherman Wool is like the softest, squishiest rug I can give her. Um, this particular wheel is going to be for me, but... I'm looking at making her a rug, and um, I don't think, I already started her one in acrylic. I think the acrylic would not flatten out quite as wool. So fisherman wool is about between $10 and $12 for an 8-ounce skein. Um, I bought 12 of them. So I could end up with a beautiful beige fisherman wool um, living room rug for the dog. We'll see. Now the other machine that might do this is the Brother. Um, the 1591 might do it because they're similar, but 
I have found the 237 has a slightly higher clearance than the 1591. Um, I haven't tried it on the brother yet, and um, I'm not sure if maybe this would work on all machines, but I thought I was going to have to buy the um, Singer 4423, which is sold as having an extra high clearance, but I don't have to. I've got two 237s, and I can now make machine-stitched braided rugs.